Hey beautiful people, you once more welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're stopping right here for the very first time, I'm extremely me. And yeah, Merry Christmas. I'm sure from my tree you already know it's Christmas. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. I've been always wanting to film this video and I've been postponing, postponing, postponing. So I just felt that today is going to be a nice day for me to just film this video no matter what. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be answering some questions from this Zikoko website. And I'm going to be... And, and yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy watching. Meanwhile, if you have not subscribed already to my channel, what are you even waiting for? Please do subscribe and hit the red button on your screen so you don't miss out in any of my videos. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. I'm going to be recording my screen so that you can be seeing what I'm doing right here. So let's go. So in this Zikoko quiz, they actually have many questions and I'm going to be choosing the one I want to answer. So I'm going to be picking 11 most popular Zikoko quizzes of all time. And when I click that, other quiz are going to come out and I'm going to select from those ones. Now they say, do you know African countries and their capital? I don't, so I don't want to try that one. I don't want to put my hand. So um, I think I'm going to start with this number two, which is only through a Jackpot course can get more than nine over thirteen. I mean, I grew up in Lagos, Ajegunle. If you know Lagos, Ajegunle, you know that that place is is not only a Jackpot course stay for there. So I hope, in fact, because I grew up there, I feel that if I don't have thirteen over thirteen, that means something is wrong. So. The first question is, complete the insult. You mess all the fishes in the river, shout, are we safe? What's that smelling? Leave this place, let him be that. You mess all the fish with the water, shout, are we safe? I think it's, are we safe? So I'm going to click, are we safe? Um, yeah, I got that answer correctly. If it's a green tick, then that means I got it correctly. So we are going to move into the next question. The next one, the next one is complete the insult. You the <laughs> you the Chris, you the mad, you the gongolo cigar, is cigar now. You the Chris, you the mad, you the gongolo cigar. So I'm just going to pick cigar. And yes, I got the answer. It's a blue tick. So. I'm an Ajek Bako, but now I mean I'm beginning I'm I'm, I'm falling inside the Ajebo category. But before I used to be an Ajek Bako. So the next one, complete the insult. Two dash attack your village, nobody escape. Two moi moi. That's the first one. The second option is two kuli kuli. The third option is two monkeys. The fourth option is two fishes. I think it's the third option. Two monkey entire village, nobody escape. Two kuli kuli. <laughs> oh, that was tricky. Two kuli kuli entire village, nobody escape. Okay, so I forgot. Maybe I knew, but I just forgot that one. So I'm going to move over to the next one. Complete this request. Leke leke, give me white finger. I will give you. I've forgotten what will they give them, but I know it's white finger, which is correct. So we used to sing it that time. Like, like, give me white finger. I will give you your more. Please, if you know that song, don't forget to leave it down on the comment section because I've forgotten that particular line. So this game, in this game, what comes after round one? After round one, original Panado Extra Oti Beme Babatunde Ya So So it's after round one, original Panado Extra I got that correctly. After round one, original Panado Extra Oti Beme Babatunde Ya So So I got that one correctly. And what is the name of this biscuit? Like, what is this biscuit called? Who knows this biscuit? Napako biscuits. They are saying Oki biscuits, Paco biscuits, cabin biscuits, <laughs> tea and tea biscuits. This biscuit is cabin biscuits. See, overconfidence is not good. I was supposed to pick Paco biscuits, but I ended up picking cabin biscuits. But I knew that was Paco biscuits. So, what's this candy called? Econagon 
Baba Dudu, Goody Goody. I know it's between Baba Dudu and Goody Goody. I'm picking Baba Dudu. Yes. This sweet is called Baba Dudu. They used to sell it that time when I had five, five naira. I mean, three, five naira. This used to be the cheapest sweet at that time. So when you have small money and you buy five naira on all your squad, it's like relief from that sweet. So that's one thing I really, really liked about this sweet. So the next one, what's which of these fruits can be turned into chewing gum? Yay! Number one, a label. A be label. Don't know what's that. Gueva, Agbalomo, mango. Who doesn't know that is Agbalomo? I mean, when you finish licking the Agbalomo, you would not have to just lick it like that. You must wait and chew the back. <laughs> Most people used to use the back as the chewing gum, while other people use the inside as the chewing gum. And I think the inside used to be more soft. If you use the back, it's going to be strong. It's going to be very hard and you're going to be chewing a lot. But when you use the inside, that inside, you suck all the sweets first and then that, like when you when you finish extracting all the sweets, you just chew that inside. It turns to very good, nice chewing gum, classic chewing gum. So, I'm correct. They said if you chew the skin of an agalo more long enough, you can get chewing gum. Okay, then here yeah, they are telling me that when you chew the skin, but the skin is actually very strong. So me, I prefer to use the inside of the agbalomo. So how do you make this fele fele? How do you make this ball, this ball felele stronger? Okay, the name of the ball is felele. So they are, they are asking, how do I make this felele stronger? Number one, blow it. Number two, wrap it in tape. Wrap it in cello tape. Number three, boil it. Number four, rub it on the ground. Boil it. I, I, I'm not a boy, so I don't used to buy this kind of ball at that time. But I used to see people boiling it. And yes, that's correct. They said boiling the ball makes it harder and helps it last longer. I mean, who created that ball to know that when you boil the ball, it's going to make it stronger and harder? It's quite funny, but that used to be very, that is very true. Not that used to be. It's very true. So the next one is, what can you make with this? With this broom, this eba, and balloon. The first one is, this is a tricky question, nothing. The second one is a slingshot. The third one is a kite. The fourth one is a ball. I think it's a kite. Yeah. The eba is used, they even did a diagram. <laughs> they did a diagram. The eba is used for the kite glue. You can imagine so the eba after you use the broom to do this cross then you put the cello the the nylon around like this then it's the eba that you're now using gumming the parts together so that is that which the next one which viral brand do you need to make this it's big cool. like you know this this thing where you just did like this it's not start rolling, 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 rolling till it stops. So it's big viral, but some people eleganza is big. I go with big. Yeah, it is big. It is big viral. So the next one is this has many names. Which of these isn't one of them? Juice, ice cream, lolly, condensed. This one is kind of tricky, but I think I'll go with condensed milk. I don't, I don't know what long is. <gasps> is it is juice? Just <sighs> wow. Okay, okay. So I'm done with this segment, and they said only true Ajepo, only true Ajepako can get more than nine out of thirteen. So I got ten of. 13. So they said you are a proper Ajepako. <laughs> no one can drag that title with you. Oh my god. Okay, they're trying to let me know that I'm a proper Ajepako, which is not very bad. So I thought yeah, I was like Ajepako, but now actually I'm I'm I mean I'm taking myself out of that Ajepako level to this Ajepo level. 
So they said um, this one is for Nigerian parents. It's they said only people who speak fluent Nigerian parents can get ten over thirteen. What does this mean? When a Nigerian parent tells you if I hear pin, what does it mean? Number one, shut up. Number two, you are lying. Number three, what did you say? If I hear pin, it means you should shut up. I mean, if they tell you if I hear pin, just know that they are telling you to shut up. And I got the answer right, so that is it. Now, what does it? What does this mean? Go and bring me. <laughs> go and bring me the this thing. Go and bring me the this thing. It's one. The first question is where is the dustbin? Two. Read my mind. Three. Lend me some money. <laughs> this thing, even in my language, I observe that even my parents, when they want to say, go and get everybody, in fact, like African, African, African elder people, because even my sister here does it, when she wants, in fact, the thing is right there, or, in fact, there are many things there, they will just tell you, go and bring me this thing, so I don't know, am I supposed to know what you are, I don't know, how do you want me to know what you are thinking? So, go and bring me this thing, just me, you should read their mind. I got it. I got it. So, they are always expecting you to know what they are thinking. I mean, as they are telling you, go and bring me this thing. I don't know. They want you to just know what it is that is in their mind, so that you just go and bring that thing for them. I don't know who taught them that one. What does this mean? Does she have two heads? The first option. Does she have a medical condition? The second option, are your parents still together? The third option, why did she do better than you? That's just it. I mean, when they are telling you that she has two hair, they are telling you that, I mean, why did you? Why did she do better than you? Is it that she's eating too much? Is it that, I don't know, what is she giving, what are they giving her that I'm not giving you? So it just means that, is she better than you? And yes, I got that correctly. What does this mean? I don't have cash on me. One, do you want my ATM card instead? Two, I don't want to give you money. Three, let's go home first. <laughs> I don't have cash on me. That means let's go home first. I mean, when you see, okay, let me see if I got the answer correctly first. I don't want to give you money. I thought it was going to be let's go home first. So, okay, it actually means I don't want to give you money. I don't have cash first. I don't have cash on me. Okay, let's move on. What does this mean? What's up? What's up is like, how are you? I mean, I got it wrong. Go. I got that answer wrong. What's up is what's up? Ah, no verse. Wow. Hmm. What does this mean? Let me hold the money for you. Where your mother is telling you, let me hold the money for you. That means you can collect it later. For where? I can help you save it. It's mine now. I'll choose it's mine now. I got it right. So anytime your parents, African parents, anytime they're telling you, let me hold the money for you, let me keep it for you, let me save it for you, it just means that, hello, it is for me. Thank you for adding more money to my account. So that's just African parents for you. What does this mean, my friend? One, you are annoying me. Two, you are now an adult. Three, you are my favorite child. It means you are annoying me. I mean, my friend, get out from here. So it just means that you are annoying them. What does this mean? What does this not mean? Have you eaten? Are you hungry? I'm sorry, I love you. I, are you hungry? <laughs> are you hungry? When African parents annoy you, the first thing they tell you, I mean, their way of telling you sorry is, have you eaten? So they're just asking you, have you eaten? So that they will just, maybe they'll just want to know what you say. But say, let them come out openly and tell you, I'm sorry. That's what's going to happen. So that is their own, I'm sorry. Have you eaten is what they tell you. What does this mean? Go and wear your shoes. I'll wait. One, I'm leaving you at home. Two, you can't go 
out looking like that three hurry up it just means that i'm leaving you at home yeah i got the answer correctly this one is not even african um parent this one is african aunties and uncles and big sisters and big brother when they just tell you okay 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 go and wear your shoe and come i'm waiting for you just know that they are about to take off so you too i don't know what you'll do but that's aunties and uncles trick so this one is the last one this one is proof you grew up in a real nigerian home i mean i grew up in a nigerian home so i should know this this tray what animal is on this iconic tray an eagle a fish a lion a fish correct i got it right <laughs> this legendary plate is in every nigerian home okay everybody had this tray while growing up so it was it's just like that so they said this legendary plate this legendary plate is in every africa is in every nigerian home what are the colors so these are the color this is another color and this is another color the color is this one yes correct in fact this plate till today my mom still has this plate in the kitchen she still has it and i'm going to this place is still so yes i got 13 over 13 the guy is clapping for me he's like you killed it there is no doubt that you grew up in a very nigerian home i'm a nigerian i'm a nigerian we are we are nigerians so we will still remain nigerian so guys that's basically all i have for you today for the zikoko game and zikoko quiz if you didn't find this video helpful don't forget to thumbs up subscribe and share so you won't miss out in any of my videos and until next time guys i'm going to see you in another of my video bye bye